Hi, you guys. Just give me a minute here. I'm doing something new. It just takes me a minute to get rolling. If you are here, let me know you're here and just talk amongst yourselves while I get this set up. Anybody here? Not yet. Okay. This is new for me, you guys, so bear with me. And I'm really hoping it works. I love when stuff works the way it's supposed to. Um, if you're just jumping on here, I know that I'm live. There's three people, okay. Be with you shortly, you guys. Okay. Okay. All right, I think I did what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do, just to explain where I was here, I'm trying to work smarter, not harder. So this week with the new catalog, I have five online cooking classes. And what I used to do was cook five different nights. Hi, Jill Galinsky. Um, I used to cook five different nights, which I cook anyways, but I don't always tidy and be photo worthy. So tonight what I'm doing is I'm going live in my business page and feeding it absolutely everywhere because I wanted to show you guys what a cooking class looks like. I wanted to show you how easy this is to get free stuff. The other beauty of doing it once with multiple hosts is there's no pressure. There's no pressure anyways, but sometimes when it's just you, you feel like, ah, if no one shows up, there's no interaction or it's a flop and that's never the case. But I just, I love this sharing in multiple places. So before I forget, I would like to thank this week, my five hostesses for the new online book. I've never done this before, you guys. I'm so stoked for this. Um, Tan, Jackie, Julia, Sarah, and Kim. Thank you to every single one of you guys for uh, hosting and saying yes to getting free stuff because I love giving away free stuff and it's a great time right now with a new book. So let's go. I'm going to try to keep this brief. I know it's almost supper time and I'm doing two things at once. So I'm going to try not to burn something here, which I've done before. So it is supper time. We're going to share this afterwards. So if you didn't catch it live, don't worry about it. Uh, Kim Keller, yes to free stuff. Kim Keller, yes, I knew you were a smart cookie, Kim. I knew that. Um, okay, so how should we do this? Let's get the cooking demo done so that we can chat after. So if I'm less likely to burn something that way. So tonight we're making the beef and broccoli stir fry. Do not hate me. You can't get this individually, but it's the only thing I had left to show you guys. You can get this as part of a collection, which I'm going to talk to you about. Okay, so there is a method to my madness, even though I'm showing you something you can't order individually. So first off, let's start with getting this going. Directions are right on the container. This is hard to screw up, you guys. Super hard to screw up. Uh, I'm going to read you the ingredients just to reassure you how clean this stuff is. If you're new here, Epicure is 100% gluten free. You're going to be able to pronounce all the ingredients. So in this guy, there's organic coconut palm sugar, cornstarch, red bell pepper, soybeans, rice, salt, garlic, chives, ginger spices, and white pepper. That's it. Um, what this is, or what I'm doing this with this, is Rachel Ray's spin, which she calls it Mayoto, which sounds super fancy, but what it is is make your own takeout. I was gonna find, and look, I tried to find a little Chinese takeout dish, I thought they would be so cute, but I did not find them. But what it is, is recreating what you love at a restaurant at home for like a third of the price with a whole lot less sodium, that you can eat in your pajamas if you choose to and you don't get judged for eating in your pajamas like you would at a restaurant. So that's that's us, that's what we're doing. So to this, I need to stir the seasoning with three quarters of a cup of water and two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. So I am going to do that using a new tool 
comment below if you know what this is and if you've seen it in the book and if you would like it. Um, super, super handy. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is empty the ingredients. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing okay too. Into a measuring cup or bowl or whatever you use. Ask questions as we go to you guys. I can see the feed, so if there's something you're wondering about, ask as we go. Um, four in one spice spoon. Fits in all the jars. It replaces that metal ring that everybody probably got for a shower gift. And what you want is now missing. The tablespoon, the teaspoon are gone, the eighth and the sixteenth are left. This is one jar or one piece that goes in your silverware drawer, goes in the dishwasher and fits in all the jars. So I need two tablespoons of soy sauce. So I'm just going to, I use um, Bragg's. You can use whatever you like for soy sauce. Okay, and that's it. For this, that's all I need was the water and the soy sauce. Okay, so I'm just gonna stir that together and then preheat our wok, which remind me to talk to you guys about, and um, swirl in two tablespoons of oil and stir fry a pound of thinly sliced beef strips. So I've already got that started. Anything Asian lately, I'm cooking in sesame oil and it takes it up a complete notch. It really dials up the mayo to make your own take up. This tastes way more authentic than any other oil I've used. If you guys use sesame oil or know more about it than I do, let me know. All right, so I am just going to put this on the beef strips that I've got cooking in the wok. And I'm gonna let it do its thing while we're continuing, because it's gonna take the longest, so I just wanted to get it rolling. Um, it says, um, doesn't say how, oh, until cooked until cooked, okay? So I'm just gonna let that do its thing. Um, okay, so then, we've got that done. Um, stir in four cups of broccoli florets, cover and steam for two minutes. Add reserve seasoning, I've already done that, whoops, and stir fry uncovered until sauce thickens. Serve over rice if directed. Okay, so you guys know I don't follow directions well. And if you ask anyone that ever taught me, they would agree. I struggle with directions, that's just me. So I am going to get the broccoli, just a head start, and I'm gonna throw it in our steamer. Because I wanna show you guys the steamer, and because I don't really want it al dente, I want the broccoli pretty well cooked because the beef's already done, okay? So I'm just gonna cut this broccoli up. When you steam vegetables in your steamer, you don't need any water or, or oil. Someone told me they tried to use it, and their corn was soggy and all wrong, and they had added two cups of water. So I need to tell you guys, don't add anything to it. The steam creates the heat, and that's everything you need. Yes, just a guide. That's right, Claire, loose guide. They're not, they're not you gotta do this. The suggestions on the back are a loose guide. So we're gonna do it, so we're gonna go with. Do you guys have a steamer? Do you use it? Do you love it as much as I do? Um, it's all food grade silicone, it's um, non-leaching, it's the good stuff. You can trust if Epicure puts their name on it, uh, it's the good stuff. Basically, they wouldn't give it to their family and they would never ask you to give it to their, give it to your own if they wouldn't serve it to their own family. That's the long and short of it. Okay, so raw broccoli, um, no water, no oil. I'm gonna put that in the microwave for about three minutes, okay? And I'm hoping it doesn't, interfere with our lives. I'm hoping it doesn't interfere with our lives. Somebody let me know if I go off the radar. Okay, so now you can get creative. I love lots of color. I love lots of color. So here I'm gonna add some bell peppers and some carrot. Um, if you're making this for kids, put the vegetables in that they like. Or if they're not huge vegetable fans, them really really teeny so they can't pick them out as well. I made the mistake of being way too accommodating and now I have young adults um, who are just learning to like vegetables. So if you have little people I would start from scratch when they're little and just introduce and keep introducing um, until they figure out what they do really like and then they don't turn into uh, 20 year olds that don't eat vegetables. Okay. So that is coming along nicely. 
Obviously, I wish you guys could smell it. So I'm just gonna, uh, for some more color, rough chop some pepper, like so. Uh, these days, actually, I was just listening to CBC and they were talking about how much more people are eating at home right now, and it is so true. I find we're eating at home so much that I get sick of my own food often. So, and I love to cook and I love to eat at home, but I love to change it up. So something like this, make your own takeout, is a fun spin um, just to freshen it up on something you would have ordered when you were out that you can totally recreate at home so easily. Um, with Epicure's meal packs, it is so easy to make it look like you're a really good cook even if you're not. This is no cooking skills required. That's my pitch for Epicure, no cooking skills required. Okay, so I've got some pepper chopped up there. Um, I've got some raw carrot and I'm going to use our mandolin. If you don't have this, you guys, you need it. Um, you, need to, you need to use it carefully. That's for all my nurses that don't want to see me in Emerge. You do need to use it carefully. It's crazy sharp and uh, it does come with a guard. Some things are harder to use with a guard. Potato is not. Potato, uh, round things, apples, beets, onions, they all work well with the guard. Carrots do not, so I just be very careful and I keep my fingers back. So it comes with four different heads. I want a thicker um, julienne, like a matchstick, for these carrots. Okay, so you just pop the plate in like so and then keeping your fingers back, run it down and you get these awesome bits like that. Just easier to work with, um, more colorful, easier to cook because they're nice little pieces like that. Uh, I love the mandolin. Honestly, you guys, I use it all the time. Okay, so that's probably good. And our broccoli's done, so good timing. Okay, so this is going to be steamy for a sec. Okay, so that's pretty well done. That was three minutes, no water, no oil. And then I'm just gonna add it to the top of the um, beef and broccoli stir fry to let it all cook together. And then I've got some rice noodles cooking and I'm gonna show you guys that too. Thickening up, thickening up nicely. I wish you guys could smell it, it smells fantastic. Okay, I'm just gonna turn it way down and put the veggies on top. And let it do its thing. Okay. Um, okay, so in here, I say okay a lot, I've noticed. I should play a game where every time I say okay, you guys get something. It would cost a lot because I say okay a lot. Multi-purpose pot. I love it because it has the strainer right in the lid. So it's one less dish I have to do. To the rice noodles. I love rice noodles. You could do rice with this dinner. You could do pasta. You could do zucchini noodles. You could do whatever you like, but I've got some rice noodles going. I drop them into boiling water. I typically would use beef broth, which we don't have. Um, so in lieu of that, I added some Asian stir fry. So what this out of stock situation has done is it's made me get creative and use some things right in the very back of the shelf and find new uses for them. So Asian stir fry and under the rice noodles. I'm gonna drain the um, pot. I'm just gonna drain it into the measuring cup. It ends up being like a flavored broth, so I don't always wanna throw that away. I might be able to find another use for that. Did I get on a tangent about CBC and not finish my story? Um, what I was going to tell you guys is CBC was talking about how much more people were cooking at home. Maybe we did talk about that. And they also talked about what's interesting with people cooking at home is food waste is way up. People are throwing out way more food. I think I lived my last life in the depression and I absolutely hate throwing food out. So I try to really be purposeful uh, when I cook the first time to think of how I'm going to reuse it the second time. So for instance, I had some frozen beef tonight that I had uh, used for the stir fry. However, if on Sunday when you're barbecuing, throw on something extra and then you can repurpose that through the week. So the cook once, eat twice thinking, 
Um, and the night you get home late, you're gonna thank yourself because I feel like the meat takes the longest to cook. And if you have that done, you can recreate something really quickly without starting from scratch. Okay, so rice noodles are done. I've turned the um, stove off and I'm just gonna let that keep steaming a little bit with those veggies. Do you guys have any questions? If you do, post it in the feed and I'll answer as I go. Okay, good, everybody's good. All right, so we've talked about that. That's all good to go. We'll let it keep doing its thing. I want to chat a little bit about the new book. Um, if you want a hard copy book, let me know. Can I come for supper? Yes, Joanne McCann, you can come for supper if you bring Ava. That's the only catch. You need to bring my BFF Ava because I want to hear about her uh, first week at school. Um, okay, so if you want a hard copy book, let me know. Or if you have a different consultant that is not me, let them know and they can hook you up. They can absolutely hook you up. So, I did a video last night of a catalog tour, but I'm just going to retouch on some of my favorites um, that are new. And I'm also going to talk about the um, what's at a stock list and how to still get what you want. Okay, I'm jumping ahead. In squirrel, in squirrel fashion. These racks, you guys, I think, oh, I keep saying that's my favorite, that's my favorite. These, I think, are one of my very favorite things that came out in the fall book. So they fit on the quarter sheet pan or they fit side by side on the big sheet pan. I still put the bacon roll underneath it just to catch any sauce and then it keeps your pan looking like brand new because all I ever do is wipe the pan and throw the bacon roll in the dishwasher. These I use on um, unhealthy things like chicken burgers or pizza fingers or that kind of stuff. Because the air gets right through it, it gets even crispier. Absolutely love these um, sweet potato fries. I love them on the bacon roll, but the, the silicone didn't get as crispy as I wanted these do. So sweet potato fries, homemade chicken fingers, uh, potato wedges, all that good stuff on these racks. Highly recommend. Highly recommend those racks. Okay, off topic again. Where was I? What have you guys seen that you are excited about? Uh, I don't know if any of you guys caught the product launch that I shared yesterday. What have you seen that you have already fallen in love with that you need to have? There are some new, okay, best of fall collection. I promised I was gonna talk about this. So this is how you're gonna get the beef and broccoli stir fry, because you can't get it individually right now. Best of fall collection is $99.50, and with that, you get uh, 10 new and best-selling products and a free digital meal plan. The digital meal plan for you rural followers, it's, it tells you exactly what you need for groceries, maps out your Monday to Friday week, shows you what you need to have in your pantry, it's uh, color pictures, it's so pretty. So it comes with the guide that goes along with it. What you get is the roasted garlic aioli, taco seasoning, creamy ranch, garlic and onion nutritional yeast, balsamic vinaigrette, chocolate mud pie, you get two of those guys, beef and broccoli stir fry, you get three of those guys, home style chicken stew, speedy lasagna, sweet garlic chicken seasoning, and then the digital planner that comes with it. So that is the best of fall collection. And if you're not into paying full price, you can get this for free or half price for hosting. So those five Smarty Pants that all um, are hosting this week can get this for free or half price. Okay, there's a carrot to dangle. So best of fall collection. Um, steamy dinners. The steamer's never been part of a collection before. So now, $50, $53 in Canada or $47 in the US, you get the multi-purpose steamer, which is this big guy, which I absolutely love, and if you guys are on this page often, you see me use it all the time. If you're not into microwave, this goes in the oven. It's just an easier casserole dish to clean than the glass baking dish. Goes in the dishwasher, super easy. So in the collection, you get the steamer, 
You also get the speedy lasagna, the home style chicken stew, the African sweet potato stew. What? I'm going to talk about that. Uh, and then the steamer. So 53 Canadian, 47 US. The bulk of that is the steamer, so you're getting the meal packs free. So if you need or you don't have a steamer, think about that one. Think about that collection. Um, new meal packets. And I don't have these envelopes to show you because I've eaten them or given them away. Creamy pesto parmesan chicken. We did it here um, for our team launch, which was really fun by the way. And we added some asparagus to it. So all you do, um, velvety creamy sauce with notes of sweet basil. It was, I think it was just milk and you can add non-dairy to it if that's how you roll and customize it the way you want. So you could do it as a veggie skillet. You don't need chicken. Uh, we, we added spinach and some asparagus and it was delicious, you guys. We, the general consensus was we needed some salt, which isn't shocking, because all of the stuff is next to no sodium. So you can add a little bit of salt if you need a little bit of salt, where when you buy box stuff, you can't take it away. Um, sweet garlic chicken seasoning. This is another meal packet. So it looks just like this. It comes with uh, suggestions on the back for a guide. Um, sweet and gooey family friendly sheet pan meal. Goes from raw to ready in 20 minutes. Customized with your choice of chicken, fish, or tofu. We did it with chicken thighs and sweet potato fries on the sheet pan. It was absolutely delicious. So it's our spin on honey garlic. Sweet garlic chicken seasoning. Um, and I don't usually buy thighs, but we did boneless thighs and they were just that little bit more flavorful and it was absolutely delicious. What else do I want to show you guys? The beef and broccoli we've talked about. Um, soup. Fall to me is soup season. Fall, once, it's still a little hot for my liking, sorry summer people, but uh, I want to wear a toque, I want to wear a scarf, and I want to eat soup. That's all I want for the next three or four months. Um, okay, so new soup, African sweet potato stew. When I read that, I was like, this is Huron County. We don't eat African sweet potato stew in Huron County. But I open, I, I'll try just about anything. If it's food, I'm in and I'll try it. It was absolutely delicious. Um, if you like curry or any Indian Thai type food, I think you will like it. So, uh, mild curry flavor in a creamy coconut sauce made with ground black, you can make it with ground black beans or ground chicken. So what we did, we added cooked ground turkey to it. We did sweet potatoes, it calls for coconut milk. The clincher was peanut butter, it calls for peanut butter. And we were all like, you sure about that? We did it, it was delicious. Uh, so don't let the title intimidate you. Don't, because that's what I did. Because actually I get in my leader's kit, I get a ton of, free envelopes for us to sample and play with and I gave them all away. I thought I don't even want to try this African sweet potato stew business so I gave it to all my people and um, once we made it I wanted it back. I wanted to renege it and get it all back from them because it's delicious. Highly recommend it. Don't be intimidated by the title. Um, the minestrone is back, the chicken stew is back, the Azteca tortilla soup is back. What else have we got here? Uh, tandoori chicken curry is seasonal. Have not had it, so can't give you an honest review about it. Um, what else have we got here? Three weeks of easy dinner collections. So just like the fall collection, it comes with a digital planner. It's a great way to try multiple envelopes without committing, because uh, you get a variety with the collections. Protein. Okay, you guys have heard me talk about the chocolate protein. I absolutely love it. 20 grams of protein, which is about equivalent of three eggs next to no sugar. Blends really, really well. I think kids would even like it. You can blend it with almond milk and ice and just shake it and it's good. Uh, a little bit of peanut butter and a frozen banana and it's fabulous. You could do some cold coffee and turn it into an ice cap. So the chocolate I have always loved and always raved about. The vanilla needed more work. It, you couldn't have it straight up. It to me did have that chalky protein taste that a lot of people don't like. I could make it good, but it took a little bit, like lots of frozen fruit, uh, lots of almond milk and blended really well because it wouldn't shake well. 
The vanilla is now in the same family as the chocolate, so I have not tried it, but it's called the Power Up Vanilla Protein Blend. Uh, so it's vegan, blend of pea and fava beans, rich and smooth vanilla flavor, hydrates well with milk uh, or water. Add the smoothies, and the other thing about it is it's heat stable, so you can bake with it. You can sneak it into your baking and pump some protein into your muffins and waffles and all that kind of stuff, which would be great to send your little people in their lunchbox. So that's protein. Have not tried it, but very excited to try it soon. Um, look at that, you guys. Can you guys see that? These pictures are like drool worthy. So the trend is sheet pan cooking and boards. So for the fall, the Gravit boards, the charcuterie board um, is where it's at. That's the trending for this fall, which I love because it's less mess. It's, it's a lot less mess, easy cleanup, and it's nice for grazing. If people are socializing, you don't need to sit down and commit to a meal. You can grab off a Gravit platter and enjoy it that way, okay? Um, gooey gooey queso, gooey gooey queso. Some of this, if you guys heard last night from my catalog tour, it may be a uh, repeat, but I just, I wanna say it again. I loved it just by itself with chips. So all you do to it is microwave in a large microwavable bowl, whisk the mix with a cup and a half of milk, microwave uncovered for five minutes. Uh, whisking halfway, stir in one cup of grated cheddar. I loved it like that. If you did not love it like that, Use it as a hamburger helper. I, po I posted a Tex-Mex um, hamburger helper recipe on the cooking classes. If you're part of one of the cooking classes, you saw that. And I will share that in my epic journey as well. This queso, you guys. Uh, just even to your mac and cheese to make it like a te Tex-Mex mac and cheese. Um, the hot chili dip. If you had that hot chili dip where it's ground beef and beans and salsa and cream cheese and all that good stuff, add prepared queso to it and you'll get invited back because people will definitely dig it. So that's the queso. Um, what else have we got here? We talked about the um, cooling rack, which I absolutely love. These guys are all back, herb garlic, sea salt refill, minced garlic, and toasted onion. Those are all staples as far as I'm concerned. They should just be in the cupboard all the time. Sweet stuff. Anyone that knows me knows I'm not a baker. Melissa Batten makes fun of me all the time because she's a baker. Like she follows recipes and she told me the reason I can't bake is because I can't follow instructions well. These are really hard to screw up. Look at that carrot cake, you guys. So there's a carrot cake meal solution, gingerbread, um, and there's a pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin spice loaf, uh, sweet banana bread. So the baking game just went up a notch. This is, you you can't screw this stuff up. It's so easy. It's moist, it's delicious. The only thing I found with our baking, there's no preservatives in it, so make it when you want it. Don't make it Monday hoping it'll go in lunches all week, because it won't. It'll get dry and it won't be as delicious. What I have done in our loaf pans is made an entire package and then froze mini loaves and pulled them out and they're okay. Once they thaw out, if you eat them shortly, they're okay. It's just, there's not a lot of preservatives in this, so it's not gonna last for a long time. Um, if I had to pick one, if you told me I can only pick one of the dessert packs, I think it would be the carrot cake. Carrot cake or the pumpkin pie. The carrot cake uh, calls for crushed pineapples and I put some zucchini in it and some carrot and it's like a morning glory muffin with uh, cream cheese icing and toasted walnuts. Highly, highly recommend, highly recommend. And if you have it with coffee, you can call it breakfast. If coffee turns it into breakfast food. Um, chocolate mud pie, honest opinion, not a huge fan. It tastes kind of healthy to me. I think it's, um, I'm not sure what it is. It tastes like dark chocolate, and I think I'm used to milk chocolate. The ingredients are coconut palm sugar, organic cocoa powder, agar, sea salt, and coffee powder. So, my, someone suggested to me, instead of adding Greek yogurt to it, I'm gonna add cream cheese and try and turn it into uh, Mississippi mud. So I will report back on that. Um, 
it's not, it's just, it's uh, a really healthy tasting chocolate. And if, if you really enjoy a healthy tasting chocolate, I'm just not sure straight up kids would dig this. That's my disclaimer. Okay. Um, The roll-up rack, you can see that, is back in stock, and it's an absolute game changer. I leave it on my sink most of the time. It just extends your countertop, it extends your drying area, or you can put it in the middle of the table, and then if you're gonna do like a family-style meal, put the pot right on the table on that hot, and it turns into like a trivet, and nothing melts. The, the mandolin is not new, but I um, highly suggest you all have it. Scissors we talked about. Uh, the wok I'm going to talk about. Steamers you all know and love. Um, yeah, so I think that's the bulk of what's new that I love in the new book. Okay, we talked about that. Uh, we talked about the Best of Fall collection. So that's good. Um, we, talk, we talked a little bit about hosting. So right now, it's never been easier. I'm not coming to your house. You don't need to clean. You don't need to kick your children out. It's all online and it can be super successful, you guys. I think it's fun, it's a good distraction. Everybody's eating at home more right now, so everybody wants a little bit of inspiration how to change up their menu, how to keep it fresh, maybe how to eat better. So if you're into hosting a cooking class online, all you do is show up and invite your people. So if you have any friends that like to eat, they're potentially people that might enjoy an Epicure cooking class. So if you book from an existing class, if you're part of a class right now and you book from an existing class, you start it with $20 free. Okay? Um, and if I am not your consultant, talk to your own consultant and they can hook you up. They do just as good of a job and they can get you some free stuff. Okay, now, I'll just have printed to show you guys what the digital meal plan looks like. So, color pictures, um, best of fall guide, 30 day meal plan, and weekly grocery list. Example, shows you build your own nourish bowl, and then the best of fall week, one week, two week, three week, four, Monday to Sunday meals with things like speedy lasagna. Um, best ever ranch chickpea uh, chickpea salad sandwich which you could obviously do as chicken or tuna or whatever uh, it's so easy to customize and make it something that your crew will eat sweet garlic shrimp stir fry sounds fabulous so they're all everyday meals they're not even the African sweet potato trust me it's an everyday meal I'm gonna make it again and um, I'm gonna feed it to my people and I uh, my little people not, but my big person, I think, will eat that. Um, is it in the... There we go here. Time-saving taco lettuce wraps. That's another good one. Apple balsamic pork chops. Yes, please. Yeah, so that's the best of fall collection. Okay? Um, okay, here's the sad part. This is the Canada out of stock. So... Uh, there's 91% of that book available, so I'm trying to focus on what's available, but I also want to bring what's not available to your intention so you don't make a list and then figure out you can't get things. There's super easy subs for a lot of this stuff, and my used car salesman pitch, get it while you can because it may not be here next week. I know that sounds like uh, salesy. That's not me being salesy. That's me not wanting to disappoint people. I hate disappointing people. I hate when you want something and you fall in love with it and you can't get it. That drives me crazy. Epicure is selling it faster than they're producing it, which is fabulous. And I'm really excited to be part of that movement. And they're growing and people are finally getting on to cooking at home. And it's one of the blessings of COVID. It's shown people how easy it is to make real food at home. That said, they're barely keeping up. Like they're... They're hustling and they're hiring and they're doing all the right things, but things still, there's things out of their control. Glass, it sounds like glass is a hot commodity all of a sudden for jars, so they're having a hard time getting glass. This one I love saying. Red Thai curry, one of the ingredients is galangal. Google it, I had never heard of this before. 
It's a young baby ginger. Before it gets to big ginger, it's Galango. Isn't that cool? But it's hard to find right now. So the red Thai curry is out of stock because they can't get the Galango. This is what is out of stock as of September 15th at 10 a.m. That was yesterday. Beef and broccoli stir fry. Suggestion they're um, offering is sweet and sour stir fry. The Better Breakfast Collection, most of those um, items are available individually. The cruet, you can't get right now. Try the four cup prep, prep bowl. Everything bagel whole food topper uh, is out of stock. Garlic and onion nutritional yeast is out of stock. Good Asian real fast meal kit is out of stock, but you could get most of those things individually. Herb garlic sea salt blend grinder, but you can get that as a refill. Miso broth and the nourish broth, which is the chicken broth renamed, both out of stock right now. Chocolate protein out of stock, try the vanilla, I know I'm going to. Uh, prep bowls out of stock, prep pro knife out of stock, try the mandolin instead. The utensil set out of stock right now. Uh, Rod Already Cookbook out of stock, The Real Results Guide, The Sleeping Beauty Herbal Tea, Smoky Roasted Tomato, Summer Berry, Thai Red Curry, um, Turmeric and Ginger Tea, and The Wok in the Glass. Super sad about The Wok. Um, the Wok is one of the, the items that it's an investment. It is not cheap and you definitely get what you pay for. Um, this is the beauty of hosting that they're gonna extend hostess benefits, so if there's something you want that's not in stock right now, they're hoping it will be back in stock by the time your, your hostess benefits expire. This is one that I would suggest hosting a class to earn. I'm super cheap, and I would not pay full price for this. It's over $100. Mind you, it's worth every penny. Even my brother, who makes fun of me on a regular basis, has promised me that he's going to do a video on the Epicure Walk because he loves it so much watch for that um, so when it comes back in stock I will let you know but that's just like I say one of the sweet spots about hosting is getting um, not expensive but like value like pieces that you should have in your kitchen they're an investment right like they're pieces that you should have you should have this for a really long time but I don't encourage paying full price for it there you go I think that's it you guys we talked about all that good stuff. Uh, this is not new, but I did a video making little mini uh, meatloaf cupcakes out of these with um, meatloafs and then I put whipped potatoes on top, so watch for that video. These are so easy to clean. Everything pops right out and it goes in the dishwasher. Um, love my wok. Yes, Lori Gold. Yes, yes, yes. I don't think I've ever had anyone say they regretted the wok. It's an investment, but it's a really good investment. We talked about that. Um, hosting in what's this, September, you when you host a qualified cooking class, you get the pumpkin pie spice, which you can only get hosting, don't hate me, and the ideal temp tumbler, which some of my hosts are already lining up for wine, just that it would look um, just the right size for a little bit of, you know. Um, okay, so that's all I got for tonight. I hope that was helpful. If you're part of a cooking class, keep an eye throughout the week for different things going on. If you know what you want, uh, get it to me ASAP so I can get it submitted to make sure you can get it before it's gone. What else do I want to talk about? That might be it. Oh, okay. If there's things in the catalog that you're bummed that you have not seen, what Epicure had told us is this is the core book. This is, the, uh, this is what we're going to start with book. From now until Christmas, you're going to see periodic releases of different bundles and things like that. Uh, there was a couple years ago they did a hosting or a gifting catalog. I'm picturing something like that because I know Christmas won't happen without red pepper jelly. So red pepper jelly has to come at some point. So keep an eye for specials and uh, different offerings and things like that. That's all I've got you guys. Thank you so much for jumping on here. This is longer than I usually take, uh, but it was a lot of information to share and I will post a picture of this um, finished product. And actually, tricky timing, all I did really was cook my own supper. It looked like I was doing this elaborate cooking class for you guys. I just time it so that 
I'm making supper anyways, I may as well show you guys what I'm doing, and then as soon as I end this video, I can eat. Smart, right? That's all I got. Thanks for joining. Talk to you soon.